China has been the source of many innovations, scientific discoveries, and inventions. China has just unveiled its newest weapon that will no doubt give Jeff Bezos and the USA a run for their money. Beijing has unveiled what it calls the CZ-8 and 800M long rocket that was designed to carry a payload of up to 140 tons into low Earth orbit LEO. The rocket will later be transported to Langyu in the northwestern Chinese province in Qinghai, the site of Link Space's earlier tests. The team aims to launch the 47.5-foot-tall, 14.5 meters RLVT6 to an altitude of around 62 miles, 100 kilometers, and land it safely using landing legs and grid fins, similar to the way that the first stage of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket touches down. The first all-civilian crew visiting the International Space Station, the first time a U.S. spacecraft has flown passengers to the orbital habitat, and the first time a mission to the station was entirely privately organized and funded. China began researching rocketry before the launch of Sputnik in 1957, but it wasn't until 1970 that the country launched its first satellite into orbit. Since then, China has launched more than 400 missions, and almost all of them have used the Long March Changzheng family of rockets. The first member of China's now extensive family of Long March rockets was the Long March 1. The 98-foot long 30 meters, the three-stage rocket successfully launched from Jiquan in the Gobi Desert to send China's first satellite, Dongfang Hong 1, into orbit on April 24, 1970, making China the fifth country to launch its own satellite. The date now marks China's annual space day. China's next launcher was the 105 foot long 32 meters Long March 2A. The two stage rocket burned a mix of unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine and dinitrogen tetroxide and was capable of lifting 4,400 pounds. 2,000 kilograms of payload to low Earth orbit LEO. The first launch failed in 1974, but three further successful launches were conducted in the coming years, sending China's early reconnaissance satellites into orbit, before it was replaced by the more powerful Long March 2C. The 138-foot long 42-meter Long March 2C was developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology CALT, and can carry 8,490 pounds 3850 kilograms to low Earth orbit LEO. The Long March 3A is a three stage rocket and is usually used to place communication satellites and Beidou navigation satellites into geosynchronous transfer orbits. LM 3A is a three stage launch vehicle developed on the basis of LM 3 and LM 2C. Its third stage is powered by cryogenic propellants, liquid hydrogen, and liquid oxygen. It's dedicated to launching spacecraft into GTO. Its launch capability for the GTO mission is 2,600 kilograms. The fairing static envelope is 3 meter in diameter. The Long March 3C is a Chinese orbital launch vehicle. It's launched from Launch Complex 2 and 3 at the Zhichang Satellite Launch Center XSLC. A three-stage rocket with two strap-on liquid rocket boosters, it's a member of the Long March 3 rocket family and was derived from the Long March 3B. It was designed to fill a gap in payload capacities between the Long March 3A and 3B, however, the three-stage 145 long 44-meter Long March 4B and the 150-foot long 46M 4C were repurposed to launch meteorological and other satellites in SSO, both with a maximum payload of 6,200 pounds, 2,800 kilograms. The new two-stage four-booster Long March 5 rocket is 187 feet, 57 meter long, and 16 feet, 5 meter in diameter. It's China's largest and widest rocket capable of lifting 31,000 pounds, 14,000 kilograms to geosynchronous transfer orbit. The 95-foot long 29-meter Long March 6 is the smallest of China's new-gen launchers. It uses the same YF-100 kerosene liquid oxygen engine that powers the Long March 5 boosters and Long March 7 core stage. The Long March 7 is a two-stage new-generation rocket designed to launch Tianzhou cargo spacecraft weighing up to 29,800 pounds, 13,500 kilograms to the Tiangong Space Station. The Long March 8 was originally conceived to fill a gap in launch capabilities to SSO using already developed components from the new gen Long March 7 and older Long March 3B. The 165-foot Long 50M rocket has two side boosters and is capable of carrying 9,900 pounds, 4,500 kilograms to SSO in expendable mode. China's Long March 9 is cheaper than SpaceX's Falcon Heavy which will launch in February 2018. This could bring large quantities of space travel within reach for countries around the world that wouldn't have previously been able to afford it. The Long March 11 is the only solid propellant rocket in the Long March series.
Solid rockets don't need separate tanks for propellant and oxidizer, are simple and cheaper design, but once ignited, they burn to completion. The 68-foot-tall, 21-meter-long March 11 had its first flight in September 2015 and can carry 1,500 pounds, 700 kilograms, to low-Earth orbit, LEO. By the Warring States period, inhabitants of China had advanced metallurgic technology, including the blast furnace and cupola furnace, while the fine reforge and puddling process were known by the Han Dynasty 202 BC AD 220. A sophisticated economic system in Imperial China gave birth to inventions such as paper money during the Song Dynasty 960 to 1279. The invention of gunpowder in the mid 9th century during the Tang Dynasty led to an array of inventions such as the fire lance, landmine, naval mine, hand cannon, exploding cannonballs, multi stage rocket, and rocket bombs with aerodynamic wings and explosive payloads. China's new rocket is expected to have a range of 10,000 kilometers. This means China will be able to take crewed missions all over our solar system, including Mars. The planned launch vehicle can carry up to 50 metric tons and fly as far as Mars, said Zhou Jiangping, chief designer of China's lunar exploration program. China's new rocket is planned to make its first flight around 2030. The Chinese space program, widely seen as the biggest rival to NASA, thanks to its funding and technical know-how, has flown 20 people to space since its first crewed mission 19 years ago. The country's space agency said it would build a triple-core rocket, which looks like a SpaceX Falcon Heavy. And it also confirmed plans to move forward with its Titanic Long March 9 rocket, the same amount as a Saturn V rocket. An American super-heavy lift launch vehicle that remains the most powerful rocket that has ever flown successfully in the summer of 2019, a small Chinese rocket launched from an inland spaceport in the southern part of the country. A growing number of semi-private Chinese companies have also announced plans to develop reusable rockets. Chinese firms such as Linkspace and Galactic Energy have released schematics that seem to mimic SpaceX technology, with China successfully launching their first space station to orbit with an unmanned spacecraft, America and Russia are forced to scramble. And while Russia is still hard at work building out their Soyuz rockets, which could allow them to send crews of up to six people into low Earth orbit, most experts agree that there's not much reason for concern right now. The US will keep its edge over Russia and perhaps even China until 2023 or 2024 when commercial launches begin carrying astronauts into space aboard Boeing's CST-100 Starliner or SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. In the meantime, both China and Russia are focusing on getting crews into space, which will allow them to practice and perfect in-space operations. Now that we've come to the end of this video, I want to thank you for sticking with me and I'd love to know what you think of it. Just comment down below. Also, if you like this video, make sure you like it and stay safe. This video is over, but if you want to see more, there's one on your screen right now and there are a few more fun videos coming soon. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, stay safe and be happy.